మీ ఛానల్లో వెనుక వచ్చేసి అంటే సో ఇప్పుడు ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యువర్ దట్ ఈస్ ట్వెల్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లెవెన్త్ చాప్టర్ దట్ ఈస్ జపాన్ అండ్ ప్రెసెంట్ త్రూ ఏ ట్రావెలర్స్ అయ్యా సో ఇట్ ఈస్ రిటర్న్ బై జార్జ్ మైక్స్ సో ఈ సేస్ హౌ ఈస్ జపాన్ అండ్ బ్రెజిల్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద ట్రావెలర్స్ సై సో so note on travel rating so travel rating is about one's experience of traveling and visiting uh, alien places as a gender of rating it is as old as second century when travelers to greece recorded their experience in the form of diary with the invention of new techniques of navigation and sea voyages during 9th and 10th century travel rating became the globe soon such trips started getting royal patrons and support new adventures and voyages were even commissioned the travel writing ceased to be just a description of a new place born out of curiosity and gain political overtones now even after much of the earth has been explored and almost every piece on this earth has been written about its popularity has not waned as can be seen by the immense viewerships it has on modern media like tv and internet travel rating has come under serious scholarly study in the past 50 years and has become a part of cultural studies program in many universities travel rating is no longer viewed as a product of some innocent curiosity or an attempt to understand an alien culture or objectively rather this narrative or telling comments on how a culture gets represented by another and in the process of subtly uphold some culture values as some more superior and universal than the other so so the point says about the travel culture rating is travel rating is about rating about an experience what we get during the traveling or visiting some other places so it was started in the second century when some traveler of the greece went to other places and they recorded their experience in their diary so after that the invention of the navigation and sea routes during the 19th and 10th century started so by that travel writing became more popular and more people started uh, started to write about the experience of their traveling and it was become very much global means all the whole globe uh, started to do this and soon such trips were started uh, getting more important and support it started getting a new adventures and uh, adventures were started by the writers and this travel writing uh, to be just it was not a description of a new place that was born out of curiosity because because of curiosity we go and travel not just like that now even after uh, we have explored all the places of the earth but still some pieces on this earth has been written uh, about it uh, and its popularity has not still so its popularity of knowing some places is not still gone we see we see more people use uh, view the traveling channels like in the tvs and internet so travel dating has become under serious studies in the past 50 years and you may have may see that many in many universities there may be cultural studies program in many universities and travel writing is not a just a, a viewed as a product of some thing but it is also an attempt to understand the other places and their comments and their culture how is the other places culture to understand their culture and in the process of uphold some culture and still to take some culture from the other countries as universe and make them universal universal to make them to know to all the universe so japanese manner so let us come to the poets how were the experience of poet in japan and brazil so first japanese manner so a quarter of an hour in japan will convey convince you you that you are among equally well mannered people people who live on a hopeless overcrowded island have to respect one another privacy or rather would have to if they had any privacy but they don't so courtesy has a double function it is courtesy and it is a substitute privacy for an example a little red telephone in the streets shops also hotel the instrument is seated on a tele- table or on a counter they have no space to spare for booths 
you could, uh, you conduct your most confidential business transaction your intimate love quarrels in public yet in perfectly privacy so anybody any passer by could not listen listen in but nobody does a man's telephone receiver is his castle so in in japan will in japan will convince you uh, about the well mannered people you will learn people who will have who, who will live on a hopeless no overcrowded island and they respect to their each each other people's privacy and uh, would have to if had any privacy if they had any privacy they will respect it and but they don't but they don't in some so courtesy uh, in their courtesy they in the japan has double meaning one is uh it is the courtesy and the subtitle of privacy the courtesy is the subtitle of privacy the two meanings in the japan let us take an example so there is a red telephone in the streets or in the shops in the uh, halls of hotel so the instrument is and um, is to be placed on a table so it is like a booth you uh, conduct a conference for business transaction you uh, log quarrel or it is yet in a perfect privacy it is like perfect privacy if no one will know about it anybody any pa- passer by like, could not listen to uh, listen in or but nobody does so nobody listens in. so you will of course immediately notice there many of our boy so everybody keeps going to everybody else with the ceremonies ceremonies solemnity of courtier yet with a great deal of nature and inimitable grace bowing is neither less nor more silly than shaking hands or kissing the cheeks but it is quainter more formal more oriental it is also infectious after a few hours you start bowing yourself but you uh, you bow to deeply or not deeply enough you bow to wrong man at the wrong time you do not clasp your hands in front of your uh, you which is bad or you you you, uh, you do which is worse you will discover that the japanese have a complicated hierarchy in bowing who bows to whom how deeply and for how much long one of the uh, american states had an early traffic law which laid down that if two cars meet at an intersection neither was to move uh, before the other had gone similarly if two japanese bow neither is to straighten up before the other stands erect in the front of him a little complicated to us they manage it without difficulty and even the smallest difference in rank standing age social position will be subtly reflected in that split second one man's bow is shorter than the other in many cases there are clear cut difference in position and no difficulties the basic rules inside the family the wife bows to her husband the child bows to his father younger brother to elder brother the sister bows to all brothers of whatever age and i saw babies carried in japanese style on, uh, on their mother back in uh, back in clever little sadness and whenever mother bowed baby bowed too somewhat condens- uh, condensingly from his uh, majestic height Japanese stores employ to bow deeply and differently differentially to all and suddenly the Japanese sequentially of our page bows who turn revolving doors for us on the famous and fast Tokyo line between Tokyo and Osaka two conductor enter the carriage in a slightly theatrical scene so they march to the middle of the coach bow ceremonially in both direction and then start checking the ticket in one of the part of nara i met edir i bow a pack of food for him he came up to me looked into my eyes and bow deeply it was no chance gesture it was a proper and courteous bow perhaps dear or more initiative than than i knew perhaps if they see people bowing all the times they get into a habit too perhaps it has sometimes genetic and is in the blood of japanese tea i do not know but i do know i i do know that the tea bowed to me then jumped at that and snatched the little food bag from my hand so the poet says 
you will of course immediate that uh, you will notice that uh, Japanese people you may have noticed sometimes they will bow their head always they will bow their head so everybody in Japan keeps bowing to everybody else so like that only the courtier ate with a great deal of it is like a nature and inhumate grace so bowing is in similar to shaking the hands or in the, uh, the, in the other places and like kissing to the cheek but it is like a more no, formal and it is like a oriental formal so after a few hours when you start bowing yourself after a few hours when you go to other people you start bowing yourself only uh, you, you you may know not remember but uh, you you have bowed to others but you bow too deeply you bow too deeply you will bow full and uh, not deeply enough you bow to wrong man so sometimes you bow to wrong man and at uh, wrong time you may bow to that person and uh, clasp your hands in front of you which is bad so you clasp your hand in front of him that is bad so you see that japanese have an culture like of bowing who bows to whom so who bows to whom like culture how deeply and how long for time till he goes and and also one of the in the one of the american state you can see the traffic law which was let that two cars meet at an intersection neither uh, one car should not move until the other car move away similarly to japanese bow so they both bow at the same time but they uh, will both uh, do not get up uh, until when get up uh, until the one person get up after bowing the after that only the next person get up so a little uh, complicated is also it is so they manage it uh, without uh, the japanese manage it without having some difficulties and even the small uh, in that there may be a different to age people different ranking different standing position there may be social position will be reflected so in the basic rules inside the family also you can see then uh, the wife goes to her husband and the child goes to his father and the younger brother also goes to elder brother and the sister goes to all brother of whatever age and also you can see in the babies also goes to his mother and mother also do goes to your baby so in japanese store the employees bowing girl who stands uh, at the escalator so at the escalator who stands she also bows to the people who come stay and whose only duty is to uh, is to evacuate of our page boy who turns revolving the door for us so who turns the doors for us at the work is her so there was a train from tokyo to line so tokyo to the trains from tokyo to oscar so two conductors who came to the middle of the coach they both bow to each other and they both move to the different direction for checking of the tickets in one of the parts of a place nara in that the poet saw it did so the so poet saw it did so the poet brought a packet of food for the deer so the deer came near to the poet he the deer, uh, deer saw into the eyes of the poet and the deer bowed to the uh poet then uh, more initially it uh, it was going all the times yeah, that it, it was like the habit for the deer perhaps sometimes it may be in the genetics or the blood of the japanese deer the poet was still don't know correctly but after going the deer jumped uh, at uh, at the poet and it took the snacks from the poet and it uh, ran away so the deer uh, from there so in this too the deer was a true japanese you can often see people going to each other with with ceremonies frequently at the bus stop as soon as the bus arrives the bowing gentlemen are transformed into savages they push each other aside treat uh, tread on each other toes and show their elbows into each other stomachs so eating soup so eating soup has more dangerous than almost anything else when eating soup you must make a fearful noise it is a sign of appreciation if you don't you you hostess will think what an ill mannered lout but if you do she will think no reasonably well brought up european makes such dis- uh, disgusting noises when eating soup he must be an ill mannered lout 
so in this uh, as you saw the uh, d was as port to the point so it was gentleman so the bus driver also post to the gentleman and also you may see that uh, also post to the people who comes to the other bus next eating the soup so eating the soup in the japan is more dangerous than almost anything else there is also a procedure to eat the soup when you eat the soup you should make a fearful noise if you it is like an appreciation scene of appreciation for you if you don't do it the people who watched us who will give you the soup they will think what an uh, uh, ill mannered he don't have manner like that but if you do she will think no reasonably well brought it is very good europeans makes this sound while eating the soup so traffic in brazil so now let us come to brazil now we will talk about japan next brazil so nobody hurries in brazil it does not really matter whether uh, you reach your destination an hour too soon a day late or not at all the grey pavement in the streets of copacabana are often decorated with beautiful black mosaics a unique type of decoration only a uh, people alive to beauty in their surroundings and who have plenty of time for contemplation contemplation during their meditative ab- uh, ambulatory exercise would take the trouble to decorate the pavement they walk on so in nobody hurries in brazil whether it takes you uh, to your des- destination uh, too soon or a day late or you may not reach to your destination but there nobody hurries in japan uh, sorry in brazil so the grave pavement in the streets of a place that is copa cabin there you see a decoration of beautiful decoration so it is like unique decoration only the people of their surroundings they decorate that place for as they walk that that place fast enough for them you would then be inclined to believe that ga- gaining a tenth of a second is matter to grave importance for all of them all the time so however after that you see and the students in the in their uh, studying will in their hands no speed so they will no speed is faster enough for them so no speed is faster for them you would then incline they believe gaining the tenth in a second so motor cars are extremely expensive in brazil import duties being triples and murderous only a few other proper south american states are in a worse position in their in this respect complaints are universal hardly anyone can afford a car yet this only means that uh, the number of motor vehicles is growing by leaps and bounds almost as if cars were distributed free of charges to all and sundry thus the pedestrian life is becoming more hazardous every day so the motor cars in the japan they become very much uh, expensive they import more motor cars to the other countries where there are only a few other like poorer south american states or worst position in this respect they are so yet uh, the only means that the number of motor vehicle is growing the number of motor vehicle is growing almost as if cars are distributed free to charge free to charge to all they like that the motor is uh, expensive it is not that drivers do not care about pedestrian the trouble is that they do care about them so the driver does not care about the money but they care about their lives in fact uh, on the look out for them as soon as a driver notices a pedestrian step off the pavement he regards him as fair game he take aim and accelerate accelerate so as soon as driver notices that a steps off the pavement a person gone he regards him like a fair game and he takes an aim to and he runs the car fast so the pedestrian has to jump leap and run off for dear life so the pedestrian has to jump and run off as the car goes fast he does not resent this is the least driver and the pedestrian hunter and the street is like hunter and the street and i win today you will win tomorrow like that it will be so the war between driver themselves is murderous but good tempered they cut in they overtake on both sides they force you to break violently and commit all the most heinous crimes of the road and 20 times every hour hour but they smile at you at the same time there is no anger no hostility no mad hooting 
so the uh, it is like a war between the driver themselves they are murderers but uh, they are good tempered so they cut in they overtake both sides sometimes the car overtake a car or they force you to put the brake or they commit uh, like a crime for you in a road over for it in 20 times in an hour like that so avenue of passing where is the worst place of all you stand there trying to cross the road and contemplating the truly fascinating problem a spacious crossing you may witness a scene something like this a man on your side of alvin the west suddenly catches sight of a friend of his on the other side and starts waving to him at the same time looking completely mystified how on earth do you get over there he shouts across trying to me make himself hear about the traffic it is the other fellow turns to be surprised by the native question he yells back how i was born on this side so a place called vargas uh, avendia president vargas that is the worst place for in that all so the uh, people who stand there trying to cross the road and completely he can't he is facing more problems he can't cross the road how can a crawling traffic proceed at such terrifying speed how can a traffic proceed so as hour after hour passes also you cannot cross that road the cars being passes so the witness of the scene is like this so in a place called vargas so a person is staying here his friend is at the other side of the road so he starts waving to him at the same time he looks him and then how uh, on earth did you get over there how in you on over there he shouts across trying to make himself heard about about the traffic he say about the traffic it is the other fellow man stands surprised uh, to its native he says he yell back how i was born on this side how i come that side i was born this side so that much more traffic was there they cannot cross the road so okay friends this was your chapter the brazil and uh, japan and brazil through a traveler side so okay friends i think you understand this chapter so like the video comment of video and subscribe my channel and coaching center for more video i will see you in the next video so in other chapter then take care and i say bye my dear